Hello, East Cooley. Last time I was here in July, you seemed like you were a little perturbed that it had been a while since I'd been here. So I'm back in October. Would you like me to come? So I'm hoping tonight you'll feel free to communicate with us. Can you move it back into that position? See if it goes off again. Yeah. So going to 1.8. Oh, it's higher now. Huh. So it's interesting because it was at 1.8 before when the lights were on. All right. No. <laughs> that answers that. <laughs> no. It's like something right in front of the desk because I even went up to the, the bookcase there and it's, it's not past the bookcase. It's not above the desk and it's not below the desk. Yeah. Okay. No, and there's there's no power um, right here. There is power in that wall where you're sitting, um, but there's no power right here. And if there was power in this wall, mm -hmm. it would continue to go off and it stops here. So we're going to try. We'll try to establish communication. I don't think we're, get, we're going to get it. I think this is just one of those weird East Cooley anomalies, but I'm going to try again. Hello. If you're touching the device that's making all the noise and turning red, could you stop? Could you stop touching it and step away? Yeah, the numbers aren't even changing. But it's not as high. It's like 2.93. That's, that's, that's very high. Yeah, as soon as I turn it sideways, it'll stop. So it's, it's whatever it is. It's not that direction. It is only right here. It's something right here. Right where I'm standing. And it only goes to there. So that's the height that it starts at. And it's the strongest right at the desk. Yeah. 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 It's on both sides of the desk too, so it's it's just the line of desks. Well, we are right above the furnace room, so that's why the first thing I did was go down here. And it stops at the floor level. So if it was something power related in the from the furnace room, it'd be higher at floor level. So <laughs> and this one isn't going off at all, the K2. No, I haven't seen anything. And yeah, it's it's only going very low levels here. So so yeah, that's uh East Cooley for you. So if there's any spirits of the room that do understand me and are listening, you've heard how that device works. You've seen it in action. Can you go up and touch one of the other ones in the room? They all work the same. I brought some candy with me because I know you love the candy. And if you go and light up one of the meters right now, I've got some candy for you. I take it that's a no. I've also brought the talking device with me that you like. 
when I was here in July, you really wanted, he said that uh, you wanted me to listen. So I'm prepared to do that tonight and I can turn it on, but I'd kind of like you to let me know for sure that you're here. So if you can go up again and touch any of the green lights in the room and turn them red and make them beep or make a loud sound for us, I will turn on the talking device. Anna, could you take the uh, red pot and sit it on one of those desks? That has that feel. I'm just curious to see. Hmm. Yeah, maybe try to get in the seat. If we're going by the theory that there's somebody sitting in the desk. We've had the biggest red pod before in this room. Um, a few years ago, uh, this time of year, actually, we had one set up on the desk and we had it going off on command all night in for chocolate. It, all I had to do was pull a chocolate bar out of my bag and it would go off. Um, I ended up with a little pile of chocolate here by the end of the night. That works with me too, Bonnie. Yeah, <laughs> good to know. I mean, pretty much anybody can be fine with chocolate. But we found over the years of doing this that there's certain things that spirits miss. Um, and chocolate is definitely one of them. This is not um, unusual um, this year, but in the past, this room was way more active than it is right now. Usually, as soon as we came in here and we turned off the lights, we'd have meters going off all over the room um, and things wanting to talk with us. But so far this year, we have found that the classroom has been very quiet. And our theory on that right now is because they're not having students come into the building right now. They don't have... The girl guides are coming through, the scouts are coming through, and none of the... Um, um, summer camps or day camps and science trips and stuff like that are coming through um, because of COVID. So the building isn't getting that interaction. And I think that whatever spirits were drawn to the child energy have gone dormant. So in the interest of sparking that, we're going to turn on the lights and we're going to have you guys act like children. Do you think you can do that? <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Anybody who's at the back of the room, if you could try turning on the lights there to the right hand side of the doorway. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So, one of the things we have done in the past is there's a little pamphlet on your desk, and that should have in it some a brief description of the child that a child that actually attends school here and maybe have some of their school work um, at the back of the classroom um, oh, there's pictures on the wall of actual classes um, and you can see little sticky notes and little papers around um, those are from people that have dropped by and said okay I know who that person is I know who that person is that was my grandma that was and so we're, we're forever adding to the names of the people over the years which is I think is just fascinating one of the big reasons I do this is to talk to history and it's sitting right there on the wall. Um, but we have no proof out of 10 years of investigating here that we're talking to students. Um, the only um, direct correlation to a child spirit that we have is actually in the basement. So, um, and we think it's a little boy spirit um, that's in the basement, likes to hold hands with people. So, um, but that's only a guess that we've got some residual activity sometimes here in the classroom that acts like children right so we don't know if it's an actual ghost we don't know if it's just a like i said an imprint on the building um, we do get something that responds to people being in the desks reading those things and that likes candy so could it be a child it could be but we don't have we have yet to have anything come up and record and say hey i'm i'm a child and i died at this year and my name was <laughs> so that's interesting hello Okay, and it is pointed towards the wall and there is power in that wall downstairs but again if it was power related it would have been going off already well it, it had i don't know what happened mm -hmm. it's just vibrations but it went from sitting yeah steady to sitting at an angle like that. hmm. that's when it starts so that's weird Yeah. 
Yeah. That made, that, made that made it move. Yeah. Open. It's just weird that it's only going on and off in that one position. Yeah. Again, weirdness. Okay. So now we're, we're going to do, like I said, we're, we're all going to get up out of our desks and mill around like you just got to school and you're misbehaving and uh, find a different desk. Try to spread out a little bit more this time. I get you guys, a lot of you guys are all together, but. Should we take our meter with us? Yes, please. And if you do have a meter, start going off. Maybe stop in that position and, and raise your hand so I know what's going on. Okay, so that makes sense because the, the sensor, yeah, and like I said, there's power like right there. So it might just be at that angle it's catching it. Because I'll, I'll show you when we get downstairs. Um, right below that wall is another wall with uh, an exit sign and the entrance to the furnace room. And there's a whole bunch of wiring right there. So to get stronger as you go down to the floor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now they're not. They were earlier and now they're not. Right. Yeah. 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 In itself, that's like I said, that validates that's, what was happening earlier. Yeah. Metal on its own won't set it off. Unless it's been charged. Yeah. So uh, EMF detectors will only go off in an electromagnetic field, which is caused by power or earth anomalies or solar flares. So again, I'm going to say it's Bonnie, your favorite crazy ghost lady. You usually really want to talk to me. If there's anybody here that wants to interact with us, how about this? Time to come to class. You can touch any of the green lights in the room. We can turn red and beep. You can come up and touch this on my desk. Let me know that you're here. Again, I have chocolate. I'll show you. I'm not lying. See, I have, I have all kinds of things. I have licorice. My batteries <laughs> it's all in the same bag. I have a candy and batteries. Oh, I have a sucker. Anyways, let's try getting some communication again. I'm gonna I don't like to turn on the phonetics device without having any other activity, but I would like to give it a shot before we move on to another area. Mm -hmm. Um, just to see because the last time we were here I hesitated to use it and then when we did use it was actually some, we got some really clear stuff so I want to at least give it a chance. So I'm going to turn this on and I believe you know how to use it because we've had you use it here before. And this is your chance to talk to everybody. Just gonna adjust the volume. Are you sitting in your seats? Just turning it down a bit. Just I was about to say, I don't think there's anything in the classroom tonight. But that did sound like a standard stream of gibberish. Um, what we're looking for is full sentences, um, consistent answers to questions. <laughs> Can you say hello? Prove me wrong. Prove to me that you're here. And adjust the volume one more time. I'm going to turn it up and you're going to get loud. You know how this works. Do you remember when we were here before and you corrected everybody when they said they didn't hear you say bacon? 
And you said, yes, bacon. And when I was here in July, you told me that you had a message for me. Well, I think we need to go somewhere else. Um, <laughs> spitting out gibberish which it does it's the default um but it generally only starts up when it's it's getting energy play but it's still that to me that's nothing so i think we're going to move on um the usual routine is now we will go down to the basement and i just gotta because we sometimes do get cold anomalies and stuff down here it's gonna do 14 degrees at the floor, 12 degrees on the outside walls, average ambient is 17.5. We'll go to the basement. It's Bonnie again. I brought some more friends to visit with you tonight. know how well this equipment works. Being able to stop hot it cannot hurt you. If you come up and touch the green lights, they'll turn red and they'll beep. Let us know that you're here. George, are you here tonight? Looks like you're doing a good job. The place looks good. Nice and tidy. I don't hear any squeaking pipes tonight. I know you have new management. You can come and tell me how you feel about them. There are any kids who are here with us? I have two balls in front of me. If you come and touch them, they light up. The one on the left here, it lights up red. And the one on the right, it's blue and it's yellow. Would you like to come and play? Your hand will come and play with you if you want to come play. How about the little boy? Are you here? I brought some friends to come play with you. Do you want to come play a game? <coughs> Always our first visit to the basement is kind of a short one because um, we have lots of areas to cover that we tend to come down here later. Oh, that's the heat coming on. I was wondering when Tweety Bird would make its announcement. As you can, and you can hear why I call it Tweety Bird. I had to give it a minute to see if it stops. Nobody move. Okay, bend shift again. Turn off the lights. Thank you, Julie. Ready? Yeah. So that might have been something there coming to play. Do you want to come play with the toys? Okay, again, so hello to the basement. If there's anybody here with us, I'm sure you remember, uh, remember me and my friends. As always, we're just here to communicate with you. We don't mean you any harm. We don't want to change your situation in any way. All these green lights can detect your presence. If you go up and touch them, they'll turn red and they'll beep.
normal. That's where George hangs out. up to like 0.4 and back down to 0.1? It beeps a few times. It beeps a Okay. But like we said, the cat bowls on the car down, mm -hmm. and another EMF on the ground. We can only get two EMFs. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have people move away again because now we've got a whole bunch of people. Um, We're crowding. Yeah. Especially if it's a child or an animal, we might not want to be crowded, so if we spread out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try turning on the talking device. George, if you're here, can you come out and say hello? sudden make noise. Just aware. <laughs> uh, when we get stuff, it is clear. We will get clear, full sentences um, and words. Uh, usually when we get stuff, my, my way of going through it and review is I listen to it if I think it says something I play it for another team member, and if they think it says the same thing, then we play it with some, for somebody out of context that doesn't believe in this. If they say it's saying the same thing, it makes it in, as evidence. And most stuff doesn't make it that far. <laughs> There's quite often we'll have a whole group of people, and in the moment we all think we hear something very clearly, and then in review it's like it wasn't saying anything of the sort. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if that could be considered as evidence in itself that the group mentality, or was it telepathic, or who knows? George. Is that you, George? Um. It almost sounded like you were mocking us.
on the other side of you. Hey, George, is there a cat down here? Okay, I'm going to turn this off in one minute. It's your chance to talk to us. Do you have any messages? Anything you need? Usually if they're calling me out, they swear at me too. Hello. Are you okay with these people being in your house? So this is an actual sutler's cabin um, that was taken apart and built in this room, um, but it isn't exactly as it was. They've resided outside differently, and of course the furnishings aren't all original to the home. If you don't want them in their house, you got to let them know that you want them to leave. If you don't want them to be in there, can you light up one of the green lights right now and make it turn red? If you do, they'll leave your house. Maybe you want them to stay. If you want, <laughs> if you want them to stay for dinner, can you turn one of those green lights red? going to be in here for another minute. So if you want to talk to us, you want to communicate with us, you have to let me know that you're here. Nice yeah. And that's the thing, uh, spirits feed on our energy, right? And less and less people coming out. Um, so we've been investigating here tonight and we haven't had a whole lot of interaction from you. Me. We're hoping at the end of the night here you'll come out and talk to us as you have in the past. It's going to be a long time before I'm here again. I might not be back until spring. So there's not going to be anybody here for you to talk to. So we're going to play a little game. I'm going to, we're going to ask you some questions and then I'm going to turn on the talking device and give you a chance to answer. We're going to give you just one minute, 30, well we'll say 30 seconds to a minute to answer. And then I will stop the device and we'll ask another question. This is a good chance for you to come up forward and talk to us. If you're okay with that, could you go touch a meter right now? Can you go touch one of the green lights in the room, please? So this is a good chance for you guys to, to ask some questions, but so that not everybody starts yelling out questions all at once. We're going to do it like you're in the classroom. So if you have something that you want to ask, Raise your hand and I will point to you. This is why we have the lights on. <laughs> and you can ask your question. And then you'll ask the question, I'll turn on the device, and we'll see if we get an answer. We do it this way because it kind of forces them to use it, right? Um, and you were asking about doing the, the double blind thing and that. I would only be doing that if we'd already established that we have communication. And so far we haven't established that. So, unfortunately. But we might be able to. Hopefully we get something going. Are you going to start with us so we do tonight?
But yeah, that was all, I would say that's all inconclusive. Of course, in review, it would be easier to tell. But that's a good way to rule out activity. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's anybody in the classroom tonight. But um, I've said that before, and then we've had EEPs and stuff. Um, one night we were in here, and I, I basically was confrontational at the end. I was like, fine, so you don't want to come talk to me anymore. And we had a big bang on this desk right next to me. So it's hard to say. Do you want us to be done for the night? I guess that'll be the last question. Do you want us to go? If you say leave, we will leave. If you want us to stay, you can say stay. Okay, well thank you anyways. I always yeah. appreciate everything you do for us. Can I come back in the spring?